Hi Cancer, this is a general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus signs. And it is going to be general, which means it's not going to resonate for all of you. That's completely okay. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading to get more specific information. And also the rules can be reversed because it is a general reading. So let's see what is going on with Cancer. In the middle of June, we have material world. Okay, so, okay, this could be manifesting. This could be um, things just really beginning to get physical or beginning to have things happen in the material world, like bringing your thoughts into reality. It could be you, it could be another person, it could be the both of you concerning some kind of a connection here. Let's see. For some of you, it could even be um, giving too much focus, somebody giving too much focus on the material world, which could be actually serving as a block to this connection. So we're going to figure that out in this reading. energy we have temperance the eight of pentacles and the world okay so i feel like you're feeling pretty balanced you're putting in a, in a lot of hard work towards something possibly towards achieving some goals or towards really um finding your success finding a completion to something like and when I say completion, I, I don't know if it has to do with this love connection. It feels more like it's your own thing here. Kind of like you just really having this sense of balance, which has come from a lot of patience in the past. And you're working hard on achieving goals. Basically, that's the completion here, like really figuring out where, where you're heading. And it may or may not relate to another person here. I feel like it kind of does in some way. We'll see when we clarify. For them, we have the Nine of Swords, Judgment, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this person is feeling a bit stressed, feeling a bit um, anxious, possibly when it comes to having some kind of an awakening or finding out some kind of a truth, having some kind of a revelation, possibly about themselves, maybe even in regards to the way that they have been progressing towards something which seems to be a little bit slow. And I say that because we also have temperance in your energy. So I feel like it could be that you had been waiting for something to play out. You had been waiting for something to manifest. And now you're in this place of seeking your balance and trying to really, really, um, maybe even bring this to an end. And your person is possibly picking up on that and feeling a bit stressed about that. Let's see for the near future for you, we have the two of pentacles. For them, we have the five of wands and mutually we have the 10 of wands and a message for you here is the chariot. Okay, so yeah, I feel like I feel like your person here is having a wake up call and it's feeling a little bit uncomfortable for them. It's not something that is easy to deal with. It's creating a lot of conflict within them or that's what it's leading to, which I feel like it's just going to keep building. It's going to keep building until, you know, this has to be released. I feel like this this connection, although it's not necessarily over, it might be, but I don't see it as necessarily being over. I feel like it's it's heading towards moving, uh, towards reaching a point of exhaustion where it's like, all right, something's got to give, something's got to change here. All right, because I also see you kind of, I, I feel things being a little bit, um, I feel like it's more manageable for you than it is for them. And I do see you here really trying to balance out a lot. 
that is coming up for you. And I don't see that in the negative way. I feel like it's just that you're really going to be dealing with a lot in your physical world, in your material world. And it's almost like, you know, it's, it's like you're thinking, do I even have time? To deal with this if this is if this love situation is not moving forward if it's taking too long if it's just not coming together you know i have so much else that's going on here so let's actually clarify let's see temperance All right, we have the nine of wands and we have the page of cups okay yeah so definitely this was Okay, waiting for a long time. I feel I feel like this is um, a situation that has dragged out for a long time and I feel like it was very challenging for you, possibly waiting for this Knight of Cups to come in for a love offer or for things to just, you know, feel more balanced and it's like, or for somebody to be more emotionally expressive or to open up or to let you know how they feel or, you know, to just be more open when it comes to their emotions or to this. And it got to the point where I feel you, it's like, yeah, you know, I've waited long enough. I've waited long enough and I have put in so much effort into this and I feel like you have. And now you're just ready to close that out. So let me see the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, the Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Wow, it feels like you're really trying to move away from this. Like, physically move away. I mean, some of you might even be traveling for a separate situation or for a separate thing, maybe concerning work. But what I'm mostly getting here is this is you trying to leave this struggle behind, this waiting behind, and moving forward, putting your energy and putting all your effort into other things in your life, or possibly even just putting effort into moving away from this. Like, it, it's definitely not something easy. Let me clarify the world. All right, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're, you, you've been doing a lot of healing and I don't know how aware you might be of that, okay? Because we have two cards of healing here for you. Um, I feel like you're really being focused on your own self-love. And what you're doing is, you know, you've, you feel like what you have been getting is a very small effort in return. You've been getting very little what whatever it was that was being provided to you from this situation was very small and so you're just ready to close that out you're healing and you're finding your true sense of self-worth here however i do also get the sense that i feel like you might still be a little open to this because i do feel like there's love here as well for this person or some emotions at least but at the moment, at least, you're walking away. Plain and simple. I don't necessarily see it being over, though. As I said before, I don't see, like, a major ending. It just feels more like a conclusion of this waiting. Like, I'm just not going to be doing this anymore. I'm not going to be the only one putting in effort. So let's see for them. Let's see the Nine of Swords. All right, the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so a lot of stress, a lot of pain here. Wow. This person is really feeling this ending very, very strongly. And they know that it is connected to them having procrastinated, um, doing more. Like even with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, planting seeds, planting seeds. Yeah, but eventually you need those seeds to grow. If you're just planning and doing all the um, roundabout little things for something, but not actually doing the big things that are necessary um, in order to keep something going or, or in order to get something um, on its feet, like to get it moving, to take off. Like that's just not enough. And I feel like this is something that this person is now having a wake up call about. And this is why they're feeling so much stress and so much pain. Let's clarify judgment. The 
Empress, Death, <laughs> and the Five of Cups. This cannot be more clear. Wow. Okay, a major wake-up call, a major revelation when it comes to the ending, the death, right, of this connection, of the person that they that they want to be with, or, you know, maybe they didn't even know that they, that they felt this way. Because it does feel like they may not have known exactly how intensely they feel, all right? That's why we have judgment here. It's like a major revelation concerning how they feel, and they're noticing that now because this Five of Cups, this is a lot of grief. This is a lot of feeling like a loss, grieving a loss, grieving almost like a death. This reading feels pretty similar to um, I want to say Aquarius. One of the air signs. So maybe some of you are dealing with an air sign. I think it was Aquarius. Definitely let me know. Um, but I see this person feeling also um, some regret here. Not some. I feel like it's a lot of regret. Let me see the Knight of Pentacles. Because it feels like they might be getting on the right track here. Trying to move a little bit. Yeah. Okay. See, because they're moving from... We had the Page of Pentacles before, which is what it felt like they were providing to you. And they're moving from the Page to the Knight. And then here we also have the Knight of Swords. So even though the Knight of Pentacles, it's very slow moving. Um, it's something that is it's steady, but it's very, very slow. We have the Knight of Wands, which is actually very, very fast. So I do see them picking up the speed. That's what this is um, confirming to me, is that, yes, the speed is increasing. It still might not be like crazy, crazy fast. And that's because the Two of Pentacles, which you also have in your future energy, they're trying to figure things out in a way where it will help them to cope. I feel like this person actually has to go through this grief first and really feel this ending like to its core. And they are, they are, but I feel like that process actually needs to complete because right now they're still in this grieving process. They're feeling the regret. They're feeling sorry for themselves. I, I also feel like this is some self-pity here. Um, and I feel like they need to go through that before they can actually pick up the pieces and be like, all right, you know, enough sulking. That's enough of a pity party. What do I do next? And then getting on the right track here, picking up the speed a little bit and actually taking some action. But again, it's going to take some work from them. They're, they have a lot to kind of juggle with or to, to balance out here. So let's see what's coming up. Let's see the Two of Pentacles for you. All right, the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay, so... Yeah, see, you're... You're still open to this. You're still open to this coming up. I feel like you, there are emotions here. I feel like maybe you're expecting some kind of an apology or if it's not an apology, you're just really wanting this person to come forward and at least open up and really be very expressive when it comes to their emotions to at least bring some kind of a balance to this. It doesn't mean that that's necessarily what you need in order to um, come back together with this person. Not at all. That's not what I'm getting here. It's more of you would still want that to happen as like a prerequisite for whatever else, you know, they're going to do to make this right. Okay, so I feel like you are still open to this and there might be, you know, still a little bit of back and forth with your emotions, kind of like, yeah, you know, I am moving away, I am moving forward, I am doing other things, I am, you know, trying to keep myself occupied with other things, achieving goals, um... But at the same time, then, you know, the emotions come up and then there's that and it's kind of like going a little bit back and forth there. But just a little bit. For the most part, as I said, I feel like you are moving um, towards achieving goals here. So I don't know if, you know, there was any... I don't know if this relationship or this connection may have been holding you back in the past from accomplishing other things, I feel like that is not the case anymore. 
Let's see the Five of Wands for them. Okay, the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. Yeah, so this person coming up, they're going to be very, very um, conflicted in terms of how can they reignite this? They want this back, okay, with the Ace of Wands. They're feeling a lot of passion here. They want to reignite this. I also get this with the with the Judgment card, which does talk about um, a second opportunity, getting a second chance, um, starting over, and especially with the Ace here, this does talk about starting over fresh from the beginning. However, I do see them holding back a little bit here with the Two of Wands. I feel like they are thinking a lot about it as to how to go about doing this. So there's a lot of thought behind that, how to actually come up with a plan in order to move in the right direction. And because there's still this little bit of waiting here, like it's like they're still kind of doing that. And like I said, you know, it's taking some time because they're processing this, this ending. Because of that, it's just building, building, building up to the point of where where it just can't build up anymore. And it's just, something's gonna happen here. Let me clarify this one once. The Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Okay, so <laughs> it's building, building, building until it's just so much of a burden of this waiting and of this not doing anything where there's actually gonna have to be some effort made for a reconciliation. So I feel like this person is just going to pretty much drag it out until they can't take it anymore. They're gonna feel conflicted. They're gonna want this reconnection so bad that eventually like something's gotta give. And that's when the effort will come in. But that's gonna happen after they have processed and really felt the depths of this of this ending and of you being away from them. Wow, this is actually, let me just check real quick. Yeah, Aquarius. It's very similar to Aquarius's reading. All right, so the message for you here is the chariot, which is your element actually. And this is all about taking action, moving in a direction. It's, it's very um, go, go energy. So let me just clarify that real quick. of wands, the two of swords, and the wheel of fortune. There's a shift that is coming up when it comes to the stagnation. This waiting, this just sitting around, um, stagnating, procrastinating, you know, not, just not being able to even work things out because, well, no one, well, someone isn't putting in that effort. That's all about to shift. And this is coming with a lot of action. So take that message as it resonates for you, you know, move forward, stand strong in your power, in your element as cancer, and do what it is that you feel is right for you. And if that's taking a new path here as this page of wands, you know, then do that because that is what is going to bring about a shift here. All right, Cancer. If this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And if you want to donate to a to an animal rescue that has helped me with my kitties, I have the link to that in the description box, and I also have the link to the Etsy shop where you can find dolls like the one I have on my desk. They're all handmade and they're pretty impressive. All right, so the message here for you is the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. And yes, I feel like that is actually, um, for the both of you, definitely, I feel like you've already been doing that. And I feel like your person is coming up with a plan here. All right, and they know that. They know that what if they want to manifest into reality, into the material world, what it is that they truly want here, they're gonna to need to have a practical plan and I do see them doing that here as well with the Knight of Pentacles. It's just taking a little bit of time, but but it's, it's happening. So those were your messages, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching and much love.